Okay, welcome back, students. You okay? We are now twenty-eight. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, wala problema. Okay, na mo. Sige, magbalita kay natay forty minutes lang nga allotted sa Zoom, basig mawala na po tagalit. Okay, now let's continue. So we end at. In this slide, agenda, okay. So again, number one, official class links. Number two, official class list. Number three, scheduled of rotational swapping of subjects, per period. Then LMS and Moodle review. Katong mga naka-attend last time or during the first trial Zoom, I already mentioned about the LMS and Moodle. So later, I will be again discussing the LMS and Moodle. The number five other matters, this will be for our open forum or questions. Okay, next. So again, here's the, again, online netiquette. So use proper languages. So of course, we have to be um, proper even if we have online classes. Okay, next, we have to be polite. So from time to time, I, I always um, reminded you in our group chat to be polite, to use the words or the terms or the greetings. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good evening. Okay, so you have to be polite as you would in a face-to-face -face situation. So during your... Um, Online classes, puhon-puhon, magkita mo sa inyo mga subject teachers, sa Zoom or sa Google Meet. So you have to be polite. Okay? And aside from that, kung di kita mag -storya, how to be polite. So for example, mag-chat-chat lang mo with your, um, with your teachers. 
So you have to avoid the sarcasm ng mga words, mga rude terms, and kada ganing magsulat o capital letters because capital letters were only used are only used for emphasis. Okay? So, naiuban ma misinterpret sa mga written words. So, likayan nato na, okay? With not just with our subject teachers, but with our classmates. Okay, now next is be professional. So, we are all grade 9 students. So, mga dalaga, ulitaw naman ta. So, you have to represent yourself well at all times. Okay? And then, be respectful. So, this one, it is emphasized here that you have to respect privacy. Okay, for example, um, respect privacy. Ka na ganing mag-zoom taps, wala pa si teacher, wala pa nag-stress-tulay si teacher. Na is sige, stress-tulay na, huy, asa mo, huy, ana. So, please refrain from doing that. Okay? So, pag-salud ninyo sa Zoom meeting ninyo sa any subject teacher, make sure nga na-mute ninyo ang inyuhang audio. Okay? Na kung lang mo nakita ng mga nasa video ng mga classmate, kung gusto mo mo say hi, you can um, say hi to them privately. So, pwede nyo siya i-chat sa messenger. Okay? Pero kung nga yung Zoom online um, class, Hinaana si teacher nila. So, refrain from doing that. Okay? So, let's be respectful. Okay, next. Now, for our next slide. Okay, this one, I know you are familiar with the official links. Okay. Now, okay, sa participants karun, we have, we are 29. You are 28 students present in our Zoom meeting this afternoon. So, mamuta na ko, class. Kaning mga 28 na present ba today? Naka-answer na sa admission form? Now, pag naka-answer na, you have to tell yourself, okay, yes, okay na ko, nakahuman ko. So, magawa kayo ng checklist. Kung baga, self-survey checklist or to-do list. So, kung nahuman na mo o submit sa admission form, okay, check. Kung nahuman na sa personal email address na link and nakasubmit na, okay, click check. Sa correct LRN naman, okay, sa official link, make sure na nakasubmit na po mo. And nakasubmit na mo, you have to check sa checklist ninyo dada, yes. Pero if some of you and your classmates wala pa, yun yun, wala ang sumana, wala pa gupuan na nakabalo. You still have the time this afternoon, pagkahuman aning, pag, uh, after the Zoom meeting, you still have Saturday, you still have Sunday. Make sure that before October 5, this official three class links dapat nakasubmit na. Okay? Now, another important link is your TCNHS LMS enrollment form. Okay, katong bisa gina, remind ako sa inyo ha everyday sa group chat. That is very important. That is because the school ICT coordinator will enroll you in our LMS. Now, pag ma-officially enrolled na mo sa LMS, you will be receiving an email. So, dapat from time to time, you have to check your inbox sa email. Mag-send a uh, school of username and password. And then the username and password will be used para makalag-in ka sa LMS. And kumuta na ma'am, unsay na sa LMS. Okay, so we'll discuss that later. Okay, next slide. Now, in this side, okay, Mobile network used by students. If you already submitted the link sa personal or sa admission sa Talisay, I ask you one of the questions sa survey is what particular mobile network okay, are you using now? So if you can see here, ay daghan ang smart TNT. So kung smart, kung Wi-Fi, it is connected with PLDT. 
na gamay lang sa inyo ha ang nag-TM. Okay? Wala d'yo nag -san. Actually, my number, my mobile number is a Sun Cellular SIM. So, ako rade ang Sun sa inyo ha. So, mostly of you na ay smart user, globe users, and um, TM. Now, if you are going to ask, ma'am, why you are asking us about the mobile network? It's because usually, di ba magkadaot-daot ang um, network? So, at least kabalo ko na, ay, nagugay siya o perform sa iyahang online task. It's because daot ang connection sa network. Okay? So, I will be using that in the future references. Now, the second question sa inyong link, kani siya, type of internet connections used at home. So, thank you everyone sa mga nag-submit. Um, as of this morning, na ang 26 responses. And some, most of you na ay posted Wi-Fi internet connection, okay? So, 38.9% um, lang ang prepaid. Okay, kanang ginaload lang. Okay, mag na siya mag-load lang kung kinahanglan. Okay, next. Now, aside from that, there are also questions. I ask you what particular gadget or gadgets available at home. So, mostly of you nagagamit yung dog mobile phone. Second is laptop. Okay, at least na ay, na, na ay laptop. 20 ka buok laptop. Five ang nagagamit yung desktop. And two students who are using tablet. Okay, very good. At least updated yung mga versions ng mobile phone and tablet. So, we can access our LMS. Okay? So, okay lang yan. So, good to know that you have these gadgets at home. Okay, now, our next, um, our next agenda is the official uh, enrolled students for online for grade 9 Talisay. So, we have 25 boys or 25 male students and we have female students, we have 23. So, medyo, I checked the attendance sa group chat, okay? So, there are still uh, students in my class list na hindi pa uh, included sa ating group chat or sa messenger. And there are also uh, students or student na ngayon pa lang siya ma-enroll sa class talisay, okay? So, hindi pa siya kasali sa um, class list. So, ma-change pa ang class list maybe before October 5, so it will be finalized. Now, let's, I will turn uh, the grid now. Sige. We will be having our roll call. So, mag-attendance checking tayo. Once your name is called or mentioned, kindly unmute your audio and say present mom. Okay? Now, because I will be doing the first attendance for our um, anong tawag dito? Home, home room meeting or class touch home orientation. So, mag-check ako ng attendance. Now, may isa dito na estudyante. I don't remember. Patricia. I don't remember that. I'm sorry. So please notify me after the Zoom account. Yung inad ni Ma'am Cecil Haro. Okay? So wala ka dito sa list pero I will include you later. Now let's start with the mail. Can I have a Bayan Andre Kenan? Sorry for the spelling. Naging Kewan. Kasi sa ano yan siya? Galing yan siya sa office. Okay, a Bayan is here. Yes, Ma'am. I think unmute. Then say present. Pero nakikita ko naman yung ano niya. Okay, Abayan. Ariza. Nandiyan ba si Ariza? Yes, ma'am. Present. Wala si Ariza. Okay, sige lang. Present, ma'am. Anyway, we have 48 and you are 30 participants this afternoon. So, sige lang. I-skip natin tong agenda na to. We will have another set of Zoom link na lang kasi maubusan tayo ng oras. Now, let's proceed to the next one. Okay, now. 
In our screen, you can see here the schedule. This is our third um, agenda. So the title here that you can see, Rotational Swapping Schedules of Grade 9 Talisay. So when we say rotational or swapping, mag-swap, mag-exchange ng subject. Okay, this is for first and fourth quarter. Now, if you can see here sa first part, the time allotment for actual self-learning at home. So from the word self-learning at home, you have to learn by yourself. Okay? And you have to ask, of course, the guidance of your parents or guardians. But do not worry because we, as your subject teachers, your advisor will always be on the background. Meaning, you can send us messages for guidance and assistance okay, during the duration of your classes. So, we will start at 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Oh, let me know. Mom, sayuha, uy. Yes, I know you are um, used to kanaganing tungod kay sa COVID dugay na kayo ta mga mata, di ba? So, at this point, since back to school na, so you have to be prepared as early as 7.30 or before 7.30, dapat ready na, okay? Now, for the first period, di ba, meron ang hita kayo dito first, Second, third, fourth. Dito tayo focus muna sa third. Ay, no, sa muna eh. Dito muna tayo focus sa, sa first. Sorry, sa first. Sa first, there are only two subjects ang inyong nakita. We have science and mape. So, meaning ana class, during our first period, Duha lang ka subject ang inyong klase. So, dili ka ayos siya hago, di ba? So, do not think of, Mom, bugat kayo online class. No. Dili ka siya bugat. It's because two subjects lang. And the two subjects, science and mapi for the first period, will be, uh, will be good for 11 days. Now, asa ba ng 11 days, ma'am? 11 days will start on October 5. Okay? So, October 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Monday to Friday. Okay? 9. Now, so, 5, uh, October 5, October 6, 7, 8, 9. Then, pagka Saturday, if you're going to include the Saturday, so, that's the 6th and 7th day. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, Meaning to say, you have two weeks to answer and comply all the online requirements for science subject and MAPE subject. Pagka October 15, that's the time, that's the deadline for the submission of all your online works. Pero may ibang subject, for example, may mga lessons kasi na it will give, it will just um, give you one hour or two hours to um, comply. So, madali lang yan siya. Anyway, you have to uh, maximize your time at home na dapat 11 days lang mahuman na ninyo ang science and math. Because after 11 days, you will be now, uh, you will now proceed to the second period. Now, what are the subjects in your second period? So this, this one, the so second, we have Filipino subject and we have Araling Panlipunan subject. Okay? So Ana Arakadali, Filipino subject and Araling Panlipunan subject. Okay, now, for the third quarter, 11 days, you have one in second period. But the third period will be your English and your TLE, okay? For the fourth quarter, ito na ang fourth quarter or fourth period. So first quarter, you have your math and you have your ASP. Okay? So now take note of this one. Pwede niyo siya picture karon, pero do not worry because I will uh, send you a picture of this 
schedule at ang group messenger. Tapos, kung nasa inyong balay, kung makaprint mo, idikit niyo sa inyong wall para you will be guided na, hala, saan may oras yun? Dapat di ay muling ko na kung parang kay science time na. Or, pagkahapon, 1.30, pwede po matulog sa alas 12 to alauna. Okay? Pagka 1 to 1.30, remember that that is the DEAR program. Okay, I know you are familiar with DEAR program. Okay, katong wala pa yung COVID time, naatay DEAR time. Every 1 to 1.30, diba? So, what you're going to do is to read books or internet um, resources na mga references na pwede gamitin sa klase. And then, 1 to 1.30, bango na po ka sa tulog o sige, klase na po mo sa mape. And then, pagka 3 to 3.15, okay, manawag mo sa inyong parents, mas naks, butog. Charot. Kasi it's break time. And then, for the 3.15 to 5 p.m., mape na po siya. So, to 5 p.m., you are free. Okay? Now, take note, this is uh, your guide on what will happen every day starting October 5. Okay, next. Kung na may mga questions about aning subject or about aning agenda, ilista lang sa para later atong ansiran after the uh, meeting. Okay, next. Now, I will be showing you an online class house rules. Kasi kailangan talaga natin always ng reminders. So as your class advisor, I am... Um, It is my responsibility to always remind you from time to time about your proper conduct, especially offline or online. So I will stop the share. Then we will proceed now to YouTube. So this one. Hi, Here's I'm Ray Cowan. In this video, I'm going to show you how anyone quickly and easily creates. Okay, wait. I will be sharing to you my screen. Okay, yan. The screen. Oh, bakit ito yung screen? Ito lang, okay. No videos, just like the one you want. This video is a short reminder. Wala pong video. Oo nga, ma'am. Wala pong video, ma'am. Sounds Di po lang po, ma'am. Ma Sounds lang. Sounds lang. Ma'am, isipin mo. Ma'am, video, ma'am. Ma'am, wala pong Sounds video, ma'am. Ma Sounds lang. Excuse me po, ma'am. Wala pong video, ma'am. Di namin nakita, ma'am. Wala po, ma'am. Pinshot lang po ng YouTube. Hindi mo madunggan. Home wait, 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 wait. lang. Home. 
Music lang. Music lang among ma rinig, ma'am. Okay, kindly mute, unmute. Hala, hala, uy. <laughs> Wala yung video? Wala, yes, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Video lang, ma'am. Ma'am, pag open, ma'am. Ma'am, wala yung vid. Ma'am, sounds lang. <laughs> okay, sige, sige. Let's again, my God. Umana unta to? Okay na, na ah? Na ma'am. Tayo video? Na, yes, ma'am. Ma na, na. Na, Opo, ma yes, yes, ma ma'am. Yes. again with the online class rules. Now, let's continue with our PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Now, let's continue. After the online class orientation, Okay, next slide. Ooh. Wait, lang pa sa. Mawala na tayo. Okay. So we're back now with our PowerPoint presentation. Now at this part of our agenda is the LMS or the Learning Management System. Okay. So again, if during sa group chat or sa messenger, I will be using the acronym LMS, LIS. So ayaw mo kalibo. LMS means Learning Management System. The LMS is a website or a learning platform that you are going to log in. Your username and password na ihatag sa inyo ha sa school. Now, what's in the LMS? So, yung nasa LMS, 
this are your subjects online subjects okay so now initially or partially i introduced this already during the trial zoom meeting okay pero yung hindi naka-attend yung mga 7 lang man to naka-attend so i will discuss this to you let's proceed to the next slide by the way this is the website or the URL of our official LMS. So you have lms.talhomcitynhs.ph. Uh, okay, proceed. Okay, now, pag visit sa official website, ito yung mapipita ninyo sa desktop or even sa cellphone. Okay? So, you have Tagum City National High School. So, this is the same website na ginamit ninyo for you to identify anong section kayo sa grade 9, di ba? Ito, enrollment. Okay? And then, you are going to click the word LMS. So, pag-click ng word ng LMS, okay, ito yung lalabas. Ito siya. Then after that, you are going to log in your username and your password, then log in. Okay? Now, do not worry kung hindi pa naka-receive ng username and password. It is because that would be given to you maybe by October 4. Kasi once makalog in na kayo sa LMS, dapat start na yung subject or yung online class. Now, Pag-enter ninyo, log in, ito yung makikita ninyo sa dashboard. So you have here, dashboard, and you have the courses. Okay? Sa courses, meron ditong STE, Senior High School, Junior High School, STE Program Add-ons. So you are going to proceed to, of course, Junior High School. So you will click that. Pag mag-click kayo ng Junior High School, ito lalabas. Okay, grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10. So, of course, dito kayo sa grade 9. Again, reminder, do not click on grade 7, 8, 10, and SPFL because, again, you are enrolled only to grade 9 courses. So, you cannot access other grade level. Okay, so sa grade 9, lagi ta. Pag-click sa grade 9, eto lalabas. So, you have all the subject areas. English, Science, Filipino, MAPE, MAT, TLE, Araling Panipunan, ASP. Now, this is now the very important note and reminder. Our first period, okay, kung na-remember pa ganina ang subject, starting 7.30 this coming October 5, mag-start ang science subject. Then pagkahapon at exactly 1.30 uh, 1 p.m., MAPE subject. So meaning, Sa LMS this coming October 5, only the Science 9 and MAPE 9 ang ma-open. Four section talisay. Okay? Dili mo pwede mo sunod niya, hala, mag-una-una kong answer sa English. Hala, mag-una-una ko sa other subject. No! It's because enrolled lang mo for October 5 sa Science Language of MAPE mo pwede maka-access. Okay? So, stricted siya. Na siya yung privacy. So, Science 9 and MAPE lang for October 5. Okay, next. <clears throat> now, if you have some question, for example, Ma'am, October 4 na ma'am. Tapos 11.59 p.m. Wala pa ko na-receive na username, ma'am. So, that's why I am always reminding you sa messenger na dapat ang isubmit ninyo na email ad sa kanina link is always your correct email address. Huwag ka itong permitting nyo gina-open. Okay, from time to time, dapat check niyo in yung inbox. Now, kung wala dyan na-receive, 11.59 p.m. na. So, maybe na ay namali. So, you have to take note kanina details for technical support. So, you have to type in the following, your name, complete name, LRN. <coughs> Okay, an LRN, your LRN since elementary until grade 12, the same LRN. Okay, so ngayon pa lang dapat memorize yun na. Meron na kayong, 
naka-save dyan sa bahay or sa phone. Then grade section, so grade 9 talisay, problems. So for example, problems did not receive username and password. So yun. Then you have to email to in this court, uh, in this email ad. So pwede niyo siyang i-text or i-call. So you can take a picture sa kanyang screen or kung nagamit mong cellphone ka rin, pwede rin niyo siya i-screenshot. Or kung na may ball pen, o sige, abtik, kopya. Okay? Anyway, sige, I will um, put a link sa atong messenger and sa atong Facebook page. Na ano di hapon dito ta na announcement. Okay, now let's proceed. <clears throat> Okay, sa mga na mga cellphone, katong mga walay laptop, walay desktop, do not worry because <clears throat> our um, LMS can be accessed through our Moodle app. So last week sa Messenger, I already informed you na you are going to download the app sa phone. So I, I guess majority of the students sa Talisay na anayin ani sa Android phone. Okay? Now, what is the reason why you have to download Moodle app in your mobile phone? Because, okay, balik tayo sa other slide. Okay, wait lang ha. Sige. I forgot to introduce this. Now, sa online teaching, this is asynchronous teaching. Now, what do you mean by asynchronous teaching? If you are going to ask me, Ma'am, every day ba mag-Zoom meeting, Ma'am? Ma'am, every day ba yun kinahanglan mag-palood of internet, Ma'am? Well, my answer is no. Dili kinahanglan. Every day mag-palood para mag-internet. Ang pinaka-importante lang na mag-load of internet connection, October 5. Your science subject, ako in your science subject, kung inyuhang mape pagka 1.30 on October 5, we will, you will be having your online, face-to-face -face online discussion. Pareho ani. Okay? So, kinahan na mag-load, especially kato mga prepaid. Then, after that, you have all the time offline. Pwede na wala internet connection. It's because using your Moodle app sa Android phone, pwede ninyo ma-download ang mga documents nga naa sa LMS Science Subjects. For example, sa Science Tinyo, na i-download na module. So, i-download ninyo, which is pwede ninyo siya ma-studyhan, pwede ninyo ma-answeran offline. Walay internet. Okay? Now, make sure bisan pag naga um, naga offline klase mo uh, your subject teachers, for example, me as your science teacher, maga check ko. Makita sa LMS, ma monitor sa LMS kung unsa na ang inyuhang nahuman. So, meaning dili pwede magpa magpakalma-kalma nga ay wala bitaw nagtan-aw si teacher, dili na ko mo Take note, you only 